Hey guys, and welcome to Lamp Post. I believe this is a horror game based on some SCP story. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamp post, SCP XXXX, is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They're heading towards the location in order to conduct research and give further answers to unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. Okay, interesting. So, this is us then. Our intel suggests that, that this is Keter class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. We should be very careful while observing this object. SCP XXXX doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forests, yet the objects in the area appeared from unknown locations. We must contain these objects. Here, this is an analog multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities, like frequency, signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lampposts and collect them. I'll be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us, just in case if anything happens, and Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if any needed. Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant, avoid interactions with the lamppost, and good luck. Okay, so... We have five items that we need to collect. Okay, cup numero one. I'm gonna assume. Yeah, that's oh, number two. Bucketo? No, no bucketo. This? No. What about this bottle? No. The axe? Or shovel, sorry. Ooh, a tape. Yeah, three. Okay. No, fan? No. Ooh, memory card? No. Don't touch that. That is fine. Do -do 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 -do. Four. See, this is weird because there are actually other people here and there's not usually other people in a horror game. Makes it slightly... More off putting, really. Port to Dr. Cooper. Hello, Mr. Skinny Cooper. Impressive work. We need to pack these things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us all. Although, do you not wonder where or the where are those objects coming from? The entity the entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? No one is allowed in this area. Yeah, there are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension? Maybe it's this dude here. Your analog monkey me is picking up high frequency. Damn! Oh no, the lamppost! The lamppost! I don't think it's the lamppost, my guy. Oh. <gasps> oh! Ah! Find a way out. Date unknown. We discovered something out of the out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tries to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory is that this vortex of photons creates a dimensional bridge between our reality and somewhere else, a dark place where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around it. After that, it starts emitting strong light, and if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the object or a person disappears. Hello? Oh! Okay. Uh, we're gonna try left. Lefty? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go lefty. Well, that's a lamppost. Alright, we're gonna do left, lefty, lefty, lefty. 
eventually we'll find somewhere. Oh, a door. Lovely. Left, 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 left. Date unknown. Sometimes the lampposts can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned. But one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name, it suffocates your flesh, and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there is nothing left of you. That doesn't sound great. Um, we're going left. Date unknown. To any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye, it will vanish. But appear once more. We call it the photon shadow, which was created by the lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever, without realising that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Oh dear. Dr. Hidian? Oh god, he doesn't have an eye anymore. We must find a way out. Coco, coco, coco. Oh, coco, coco, coco. Co. Uh, okay. Um. You know, the door. Okay. 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 Um, <clears throat> I feel like it's got something to do with, okay, it, they're right, right. They've said electrical surges, right? So what if we turn on all of the computers that we can find around here? That might send off some sort of like an electrical surge. Maybe. Oh my God. Hello. Yeah, yeah you don't want to move. <clears throat> uh, was there another one down here? Yes, it was. Oh, hello! Oh, you fucker! Oh, I was not expecting that. Go to the lamp post. Okay. And the lamp post was over here. I'm getting returned. I'm here with the Mimi. Uh. Oh, oh, um, oh, hello, game by Naveen Hiddinger. I butchered that based on SCP Foundation lore. You know what? I like these SCP games. I think we've played a few of them, and they've all been decent, scary, actually fun games. So, we're going to leave this, this here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!